Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here. In today's video, I have a pretty amazing guide for you guys where I'm going to show you guys how you can actually farm the Archon's Forge as well as the SIVA offerings pretty much all at the same time. There are going to be a few things you guys are going to need to do before entering this Archon's Forge in order to complete this method. However, those steps are pretty easy and it will only take about half an hour. Now, the only things you guys are going to need to do in order to start this is get about one or two friends with you and make sure you have two or three SIVA offerings initially to start out for each person that you have in your party. So all you actually have to do from there is just go to the Archon's Forge and start running the Archon's Forge. Now you can do this with three people, but the more people that show up will definitely increase your chances and make this a lot easier. For us, we had about five people in here and it was pretty much going perfectly. We never had to stop and we were running back to back keys nonstop for about an hour and a half. So this is definitely e easy to do if you have a fire team of three people. But if you can get four or five people in here, you will not have any trouble whatsoever. And that's where this becomes just a bit of an engram farm as well. My inventory and my postmaster completely got filled up in about an hour and a half. And I will have all of the loot and everything at the end of the video for all you guys who are interested in what I got. That will all be at the, towards the end of the video. But for now, let's get back into this guide. So once you and a couple of friends are in the Archon's Forge, and you have about six keys total if you have a full fire team, so about two each, you are good to go. You just start running the Archon's Forge, and more people will eventually show up because they'll see that the Archon's Forge is going on. And that way you'll get, easily get a few more people in here. Now all you have to do from here is just start farming all the keys that you and your fire team have. Eventually you will kill enough enemies to the point where a bunch of more keys will start dropping for someone in the fire team as well. So you guys have about 6 chances. I had done this with a few friends as well and in a matter of 20 minutes my friend had gotten 3 or 4 keys already and that was enough to last us here for another 15 minutes and then by that time I had gotten another 2 keys and basically you just keep going with the cycle over and over again and eventually you will even get some perfected keys as well which dropped some incredible loot. At the end of about an hour and a half, we had gotten about four or five of the armor pieces as well as one of the weapons, and I got about six or seven legendary engrams as well, so this method can work quite well for an engram farm, and if you ever just need to get some quick gear, this is definitely another great way to do that. Now if you're still looking to complete your bounties as well, you will need to get some perfected keys. They will drop in here as well, and those bounties are quite easy to finish once you start doing using this method. I got through all four of my bounties in the hour and a half that we were in here, as well as a couple of the plagueland bounties as well for killing enemies. And it, it was really easy to do a lot of the book completions as well because you're just continuously doing Plagueland activities which help you get progress. Now if you want to make these go by a little bit faster, anytime that you see these red SIVA wirings come in, you want to make sure that you and your fire team or whoever's in here just destroy them as fast as possible. If you do them fast enough, the axes will actually spawn in for you and your teammates and then they'll spawn in for a second time. All you have to do is wait until you kill the first wave of enemies and then the second round of wires will come out. Once you destroy them again, you will actually get another set of axes to use on the boss fight. So you may want to consider taking some time out from killing the enemies to destroy those wires. It does help do the bosses, especially in the perfected keys, you kind of need to do it. In order to beat those bosses, they're really difficult if you're not high enough light level. The enemy boss will be at about a 370 light, so you definitely want to try and get those axes if you can. Just destroy those wires and make sure you get all of them. Sometimes they're hidden a little bit underneath the staircase, but if you destroy them all fast enough, the axes will spawn in, and that makes a significant difference and makes these go by a lot faster. So after the hour and a half was up, I had completed the book progress, and I was also in the tower with a completely full postmaster. It was actually to the point where I was deleting engrams off my character just to be able to pick up more, and my entire inventory was completely just filled up with engrams as well. So after about an hour and a half, I only raised about three or four light levels, but I was at a 350, so in order to grind from here, you do have to do some other stuff. But I was also able to complete the book and get a ton of engrams as well. So this is definitely a great way to get gear, especially if you're at a lower light. This will be one of the easiest ways to get up to 350 light. All you actually have to do is just do this for a little bit and have some friends help you out. And you and your friends can easily level up quite fast. So hopefully this quick little guide did help you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny guides and videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.